Hi, my name is Anthony Cummins. Uh, I'm chasing down the ninja. So, what I want to talk to you about today is um, authenticating scrolls. Now, when you get scrolls authenticated, you have to there's something you have to check. Really, it's not about is the information real. Generally, information in scrolls is like real in the sense that at that point in history, that person believed what they were writing was correct. Uh, so that's not the issue. The issue is like um, in Japanese scrolls, normally the dates at the end. And if you're lucky, you'll get transcription dates. If you're not lucky, you just get the original date. Uh, for example, for example, I'm on a scroll somewhere. This one is the Mizukagami, which I've shown you before, and um, it's not dated, but you get the, uh, the the signature. And on the other one, we've got a date of 1678. We don't know whether that's actually the date it was really written or that was the date that the original was written. It never says. So what? anyway, the point is, is this video I'm going to show you. Um, I took my scrolls, all of them, to a, an expert. He's a certified Japanese expert. His name's Yoshida-san. And uh, he deals in antiquities and he, he authenticates documents for people. So I took this one, which was, um, it's actually a war spell. It's called like a... Um, war spells for protection things like that so why is this video called Japanese love um, spells because the second half the second half of the scroll is actually let me get to it I'll show you this now second half of the scroll I love spell so um, you know it's funny that we've got on one side war spell on the other side love spell so, um, however, when he saw this, out of all the manuals I've got, when he saw this, he was impressed. And if you can see on the back, it's got gold inlaid little sections, things like that. And he, the, the writing, you can check the date, I think it's 1689, I think. But there's the date, Yoshitsune Ryu, things like that. It's probably not really Yoshitsune Ryu, but it's, it's a real. So, of course, he said he needs like three or four weeks with the scroll to vary verify it but he says pretty much for first glance this is um probably the original that means it's not a transcription at later dates the date on there is probably the original of course he'd have to check it fully but he was like you know that's definitely worth um checking out in full so i'd just like to say thank you actually to a guy called richard gillies who uh this scroll was quite expensive and um he funded the purchase of this scroll. Um, he's a bootcamp member and all that, you know, we've put all that in the past now, but um, he, he's gone down that route and he was more than happy to help support the team's research and get everything going. So thank you very much to Richard, I'll be meeting him again back in England when I get home. Um, keep my scrolls in these cases. So what I'm going to do now is show you a bit of me with Yoshida Sam. I've just picked a random part of the video, nothing specific. And um, I hope you enjoy that, and then I'll show you what we did after we just went for um, Jonathan, which is a coffee shop. Kaku Daimyo no Kamon, so the Kara Lobudaka, Kanshuk no Namai, so the Kara Sono, Tateva, Edojin no Bolto Hine, Nano, Kotoni, Kanpa, Kyoko, 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 <laughs> right, we've got a chute. I'm going to record this. Right, here we go. Hidden weapons. <laughs> there you go. Nasty little things. Yes. <laughs> Right, a while ago there was a, a forum, a particular forum that were very against my work, and they said, uh, they said, uh, what is it? I was the tea boy in the team, and all I did was get tea. Now at the time, me and my team and my family and my friends were laughing at this because I did ridiculous amounts of work, just like running around the country, going to this, spending lots of money on scrolls, going through stuff. But actually, we went for dinner the other day with me, Miyako, and Yoshie. And they were talking about social writing and all this, and they were talking about the kanji and getting way, way over my head. And um, so my job was to get the tea. <laughs> so the forum was correct I, for that one day for the tea boy. So um, here's, where, here's what we were doing. Hey, 
I would just like to say that um, for all the ninja geeks out there, and I say that in a positive way, these two here are amazing. For someone who you think experts in ninja and all that, you're all looking at big hard men and this, these two are just going at it, really like, oh, this kanji, that kanji, that kanji, and they're really like, you should hear this, this, this manual says this, this manual says that. They're geekier than me. No? Apparently, no, they're not. Apparently, I'm geekier than them. I disagree. So, uh, but this cycle, they're all discussing some really impressive stuff. And I feel left out. I just want to point out my two elves are ignoring me. Look at them. Look at them thinking they're funny. I'm trying to ask a question. And the two elves. Won't well, pay me attention because I don't speak enough Japanese. Santa is calling. Mini elves are needed to help. <laughs> <laughs> no point in me being here, really. I may as well go get the tea. <laughs> The two amazing ladies are uh, trying to f figure out the social. You'll see this in a few months in August, but the social is really difficult, so they're transcribing it. <laughs> Our Miyako is transcribing it for us. 